Walking down the avenue where we used to play The house on the corner is still the same today As it was when we were children Innocent as innocent can be Bro, stop camping. I'm not. Not anymore. Hey, uh, I'm gonna go get something from the fridge. You want anything? Uh, nah. How are you so good at this, bro? Like, what? You and I both know I play too much. True. What y'all get on your English test? <laughs> bro, I don't even know. I probably failed. I got 105 and I didn't even study. What? There was a bonus? I got a 95 on mine, but I had to study for hours. Lucky. Oh, it's my mom. It's like she can hear us talking. I'm probably grounded. So you need a ride? Yeah, probably. I'm willing to help you out with anything if you need help. Thanks, bro. I really appreciate that. Box them like a fish. See y'all. See ya, bro. Later. Life is good. Sometimes it's great to forget. To just take your mind off what things were, who you are for just a minute, and to just be right here in this moment with people who get you, people who care. Would they care if they really knew me though? I still feel like I have no one to talk to about what I've done, who I am. Son, could you come in here for a minute? How was school? It did actually really well. I got a 95 on my English test. That's awesome. That's... That's really good. What's wrong? Son, we, we have to talk about something. What is it? Sit down. Son, we're moving. Wait, what? I know. I, I got stationed in Sacramento, and I don't know how long we're going to be there, but all I know is, is it wasn't my choice. Thanks for just trying to feel normal for me, my, my friends. I know, and, and, and I know that it's going to be a challenge, but it's going to be fine. I don't want fine. I've always had fine. Things were just starting to feel normal for me. I, I can't do this. Son, we don't have a choice. There's always a choice. Hello students, it's Justin Murphy. And me, Reese Forsyth. Good, Good morning, morning Sunset, Sunset View High School. School. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Sacramento, so soak it in. We've got a few announcements for you today. First of all, the first football game of the year is coming up this Friday, so make sure you get there early and get loud as Dax Jordan leads our team this year. Let's go! Michelle Blake wants you to know that her handbags for the homeless program is starting next month, and they will be accepting donations and designer bags to give out for the next few months. Isn't she great? She sure is. So be good for your teachers and welcome our brand new students, Nathan and McKinley Walsh. All right, class. 
settle down. We're going to open our textbooks to page 76 and get out your... You're late. Please sit down. This isn't my seat, but I'll use it for today. My name is Jackson Steele, and you might know me from my YouTube account, at Jack Stacks. I've only got like three million followers. Oh hey, anyways, watch this. Yeah. I know, picking on the new kid. But honestly, it's Sacramento, California. What'd you expect? I'm Dax Jordan, by the way, but you can call me DJ. I'm captain of the football, and basketball team here at Sense of U High. And I'm kind of a big deal, so sorry, but not sorry! Okay, seriously, this kid is a walking joke. Just waiting to be famous, or I guess I should say infamous. Hi, I'm Michelle Blake. And literally, this stuff is golden. Just wait. All right, class, settle down! Book quiz time! Who can tell me? what the biggest state in the mainland is at this state in time. Graham. Hey, I'm Graham. I'm the funniest person in school. No, seriously, look for yourself. I believe that Nathan can answer that question, Miss Huckleberry. Graham, last warning. Nathan? Um. Well, it's Texas, but the largest state in America is Alaska, but it's not in the mainland, so it would be, the second would be California. Of course he knows. Jackson! Of course Nathan knows. He seems like he pays attention in class, unlike some of you. I think there are a few of you that need a little detention. Jackson? Dax, Grim, you can all serve your detention after school with me this Friday. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. I've got an event in LA. First football game. I got nothing. I'll probably just be sitting at home wondering why I'm the way I am. Class, quiet down. Well, perhaps you should have thought of that before tripping Nathan and making his first day so rough. All right, today we are going to learn about the great state of Texas. Keep on walking, new kid. I'm gonna pound that kid so hard even if I have to miss a play on Friday. Oh, he's gonna regret moving here. Wanna come sit with us? I'm Arthur. You're new, right? Yeah, Nathan. I'm Evelyn. I'm Brooklyn. So, how have you liked Sunset View so far? Well, honestly, it's been kind of a rough day. I've done this a few times. Move, make new friends. I know how it goes. You all have been so nice to me so far, and I'm truly appreciative of that. But it's like you have to. It's like you view it as the right thing to do. That's not what I want. I don't want friends out of an obligation. I'm sorry you feel that way, but you've always got a place at our table if you like. Thanks. I'm actually done. I'll see you guys around. I feel bad. Did I say something wrong? It's just tough being the new kid. It made me so mad. Like, they're so much better than everyone else just because they have all these followers. I wish that someone had the guts to stand up to them. Are you volunteering? Are you crazy? I'm good at blending in and hoping they do not know who I am. I've got a bad feeling about the next few months for Nathan. I might be wrong, but if I'm not, someone's gonna have to stand up for him. It's like I've gone backwards in time. This new school is just, well, different. Today was terrible, to say the least. I think that the hardest part of being at a new school is that you've just established something positive somewhere else, and now you have to start completely over. Today, I didn't have any place to sit at lunch, so I just sat at a random table. I tried to make friends with people I sat with, but is it worth the risk? Will I ever be able to trust them enough to really open up? 
I'm not sure I'll ever have friends again. The trip today as well. Everyone laughed and made fun of me. I deserved it. This is who I am. Why did my parents move to California of all places? I understand why all the students are being mean to me. I deserve this. I'd pick on me too. This is life. Just like my dad said, it's fine. I'm fine. I'll never be more than fine. What's up everyone? It's your boy Jack Stax coming in hot from sunny Sacramento and everything is oh so nice. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button and Jax will have your backs. Let's take a look at this tragic case of the McDweebs. Excuse me. This is Nathan Walsh. Well, you might not see his spurs and boots. This cowboy rode his horse all the way from Texas. Yeehaw! Let's take a look at his first Sacramento rodeo. <laughs> Now we all know that one of the most important parts of homecoming is, well, the date. So all our handsome men need to ask out a lady for the best homecoming yet at Sunset View High. And on that note, cue the music. Reese Forsyth, we may be the happiest co-host of Sunset Daily News journalism team and go to homecoming with me? Yes! And that's how it's done, fellas. Thanks for tuning in with me, Reese Forsyth. And me, Justin Murphy. See you next time on, on Sunset, Sunset Daily, Daily News. News. What's up, Nathan? What's up? Kevin? Ken. I bet. It's okay. What have you been doing? I'm looking for a girl to ask to homecoming. Why do you feel like you have to? Who are you going with? I'm not. I'm going with my friends. What about her? That's Taylor. She's pretty nice. Wish me luck. Hey Taylor, will you go with the homecoming with me? Sure. <sighs> that didn't work out. Nathan. You don't have to. Oh, hey! Boots. DJMC, another one. Boots. 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 Girl, now you got Boots. 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 So what you got to say now, will you be my lady? Let's go. Yes. This is impossible. How am I supposed to compete with that? Why do you feel like you have to? I just, I want to do everything I can to not stand out. I just want to be another guy asking a girl to homecoming. Well, asking a girl out like that will definitely draw attention. How about her? Well, I think that's a pretty bad idea. She's alone. I don't see anyone with a marching band marching towards her. Didn't you say you wanted to avoid attention? Yeah. Well, she attracts attention. Wish me luck. Hi. Hey, you're Nathan, right? Yeah. I'm Vanessa. What's up? I was just wondering if, so I don't have any chocolates or signs, and I'm not going to dance or rap for Nathan, you. Nathan, I'd love to go to homecoming with you. You would? Yeah, I mean, I was really hoping you would come and ask me, but I was too nervous to come and talk to you. 
so what do we do now? Text me. We can coordinate what we wear. Uh, okay. Thank you for saying yes. Thanks for saying yes. What was that? Did Nathan just ask you out to homecoming? Yes, it was so embarrassing. He had no idea what he was doing. What's the plan? Well, I was just gonna show up at Graham and humiliate him. I feel like that's not quite enough. I mean, this is the perfect opportunity. He has no idea you're going with Graham, right? Trust me, he was pretty excited that I said yes. Naturally. Let's get him to wear a ridiculous cowboy outfit. He'll never live it down. That's perfect. Did you guys exchange numbers? Of course. Don't worry, guys. I got this. This is going to be epic. Toast. Is that what you're wearing to the big dance? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be a cowboy. Yeah, you're, you're going to look great. Thanks. That's what Vanessa told me to dress like. We're going to be a rancher couple. Y'all are going to look so cute together. Thanks. Partner. Look like you're going to the rodeo. Well, I was just looking for. Hey, why are you just like that? Gross. Why would you ask out to homecoming thinking it would actually work? Lame. <laughs> just rode out of town on the same horse you rode in on, cowboy. I just can't help myself. Everything I do just leads to disaster. I just wish this curse would go away. Why did I think that would really work? Asking one of the more popular girls out to homecoming, like what did I expect? At least this just hurts me more and not anyone else. I just don't want to cause anyone hey, else to- Oh, nothing, just doing some math homework. Oh. Okay, sorry about what happened in there. My friends can be really mean sometimes. It's okay, I'm sort of used to it by now. Anyways, what are you doing here? I just wanted to make sure you were okay. I get it. You're not okay and that's fine with me. It is? You don't think I have to act like I've got it all together sometimes? I actually like that you're being who you are, not trying to pretend. Wow, that's the nicest thing anyone said to me since I've been here. I heard you were really smart. Would you mind helping me with something? I'm not smart at all, but I can help you with anything you need help with. Well, I'm kind of failing in math right now, and if I can't get- Sure. Home... Lunch tomorrow? Sure. See you tomorrow, then. It's a date. You guys are never going to believe this. He's crawling in there, isn't he? Nope. He's writing in a diary. He has a diary? What kind of a dweeb has a diary? Is he like an eight-year-old girl or something? Did you see what he was writing in it? No, but I've got an idea. We steal his diary. This is perfect. We're about to strike gold. 
Think of all the memes and videos we can make out of this dude's diary. Heck yeah. How are we gonna steal it? Or just take it from him. Shove him in a locker and let him know who runs this school. Actually, I've got it covered. You won't even know it's gone. Tell me more. Well, he's going to turn me in math at lunch tomorrow. And I bet you that diary goes everywhere with him. I'll just give him an excuse to leave the table, and then I'll take it. Look at you being all devious. We aren't going too far with this, right? Michelle, this is high school. It's eat or get eaten. Man, if only grandma's here. If he was here, this kid would be getting roasted. If he was on a skiing trip, he fell off the cliff. One idiot. He landed in a hot tub, <laughs> but he's still in really, really rough shape. Yeah, when I've got the diary, I'll let you know. Oh, man, I'm pumped. This is going to be epic. Let's go. Class, we're gonna get started. Measures A and B are complementary. Now the measure of angle A is twice the measure of angle B. What are the measures of angles A and B? I think, um... I've got it, Mr. Brown. The measure of angle A is 60 degrees and the measure of B is 30 degrees. Great job, Nathan. Nerd! Yeehaw, ride him, cowboy. Stop being mean, Joey. He's just like you. How? I don't look like an Oompa Loompa. I didn't try to steal someone else's girl because I don't have any friends. Quiet down. All right, class. You have all earned the opportunity to work a little harder, get a little smarter. Open up your textbooks to page 87, and you are going to get to complete this section for a pop quiz grade. Do we have to show our work? Hmm. Is there ever a time in my class when you don't? Thanks for having my back. No problem. Thanks for saving me on that question. How did you know that so quickly? That just makes sense to me. It always has. So it was a good decision to ask for your help. I'm still on for lunch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Looking forward to it. Michelle. Sorry. See you there. What's the first problem? Well, it's on shapes. You mean geometry? Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Okay, first I need to find the area of a triangle. That is a trapezoid. Such a ninny hammer. Sorry. It's something my grandma used to say when she didn't know something simple. I've always used it. I guess I'm a ninny hammer too sometimes. I'm not sure how to do this one. Oh, um, you need a protractor for that. Oh, let me get it out of my bag. Oh, it's okay. I'll get that. Oh. I just remembered, I have a doctor's appointment. I'm really sorry. Thank you. I gotta go. Hey, Michelle. If you ever need help with math again, I'm happy to help you. That's so generous. Thank you.
Ho, ho, ho. It's your boy, Jack Stacks, bringing all the holiday cheer. And you know the best way to spread the joy of Christmas is to smash that like and subscribe button so Jax can have your backs. I've got something real nice for you under the tree this week. The joke starts like this. A cowboy walks into a homecoming dance. I just have to ask, what was he thinking? is our very own Jack Stacks bringing us up to speed on what we've dubbed with the cowboy catastrophe at homecoming. Hang in there, Nathan. I mean, it could be worse. No one will forget when the drama club showed up to prom in Renaissance attire. Justin, you and I were a part of that group, and everybody loved that we were being ironic. Oh, well, well hang in there, Nathan. On that note, let's spread a little Christmas cheer and sing a holiday song together. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish, wish you, you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hola, estudiantes. Buenos dias. Como estas? Lucy. Me as Sebreno. Por que no eres una niña normal? Como estas? Martha. Yo es muy bien. Mmm, así, 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 así. Hoy practicaremos conversaciones en grupos. Practica la compra y venta de pingüinos en eBay. ¡Vámonos! Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, ¿cómo es el joke? Bueno. Spanish isn't your best, is it, the girl? I know that one. I'm kidding. It was funny if you can even laugh at yourself. I have to ask. Do you own that outfit? I do now. I feel so gullible. I mean, you showed up to homecoming in a rhinestone cowboy outfit. Gullible is being kind. Touche. Mi pingüino es brillante porque para comer polamitas de maíz. Lo comprare. All right, he's not paying attention. Popcorn, huh? I thought it was a good attribute. Does anyone know where Michelle is today? I haven't seen her. What? It's just, you might want to be careful. What do you mean? I get it, dude. She is popular and is paying attention to you right now. But just think about what happened at homecoming. She's not like that. I was just wondering if she was going to be here at school today because I had to help her with math at lunch. Good for you. I'm just saying to be careful. It's not our place to talk bad about her at all, but she is one of them. You guys are like everyone else. Why do we have to put people in these terrible categories? I don't see anyone else helping out the homeless. She's a good person. <laughs> este pingüino de, de verdido. Why is that so funny? What would a homeless person need a Versace handbag for? It's just another pretendous way for her to draw attention to herself. I think y'all are wrong about her. Skeletons living in my chest. I feel my feelings way too strong. Wish that you could turn a heart off. Of glass, and they always cry. I wish that I could make it stop. Wish that you could turn a heart off. Think I'm tired of being broken. Thinking love is just a waste of time. The higher that I'm hoping, the quicker that I fall. And I guess I want it to be easy, but it's never ever easy.
how are you? We were worried today. Are you okay? What's up? Um, wow, that's a lot of questions. Um, yeah, nothing's really been going on. Just family stuff. Um, yes, I'm okay. I'm so glad you called. I've been dying to talk to you since we worked on math. Speaking on math, have you worked on some of the problems I recommended? Um, no, not really. I've actually been falling behind on schoolwork. I'm very glad I didn't mess this up. I really would have felt like a big... What? I forgot the word. Let me look in my journal. Oh. Uh, I gotta go. What's wrong? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's nothing. I just really, really gotta go. Um, bye. I can't get the image out of my mind. Days like today, I feel like I'm in the water again, reaching out for them, and then suddenly, I'm aware that they are gone, and it's my fault. I'm afraid that if I don't relive it, rewrite it, I'll forget, and that's not something I can do. This is part of my punishment, to live with the pain for the rest of my life. I was five years old, and my parents took me on a canoe trip down the river. I remember not wanting to stay still, looking at all the fish in the water. Somehow, I fell out in a spot where the current was really strong. The next thing I knew, I was wrapped up in a towel on the bank of the river with a local sheriff who was telling me everything was going to be okay. It wasn't then, and it isn't now. I lost my parents that day. I lived with the guilt that it was my fault every single day of my life. for my journal. Have you seen it? Uh, no, I haven't. Be honest with me. I don't have time for games. Uh, why are you so stressed about this? McKinley, where is my journal? Everything is in that thing. Everything. Okay, okay. Michelle, you know, the popular one? She took it. Everyone at school has been talking about it. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you guys, have you seen Michelle yesterday? I tried to call her, but nothing. Yeah, I've been texting her a while, and she hasn't responded. It's all like her. I wonder what's up. Hey, yeah, do you know what? Man, I just want to punch that kid's brains out. I've been waiting for so long, he's got it coming. You're being impatient. Just chillax. You'll get your time. <laughs> no, I agree with Dax. We've waited long enough. It's time to take action. Jackson, I just started following you. Can you sign this for me? Sure. What's your name? Savannah. Jax got you back. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, do you guys know if she took his diary? I think so. She was supposed to try to get it last week, but I'm not sure why she's hiding it from us. If she won't tell me, she won't tell anyone. If she is not back by Monday, we have a problem. But for now, let's keep it chill. She probably has a good reason. Besides, she would never betray us. Give me the journal. Nathan. Give me the journal. I read it. I'm sorry, and if I had known- What? Wouldn't you have treated me like garbage? I know how this story ends. You're not garbage at all. You're beautiful, and I'm gonna do everything I can to make you recognize that. No, I won't. that sometimes the people you trust the most can create the deepest wounds. I trusted Michelle and she knew that. How can someone just do that to another human being? My emotions, feelings are nothing to her. 
I'm tired of being hurt. I'm tired of change. I'm just tired. She's the first person outside of my family to know everything about me. It's only a matter of time before everyone else does. It's time to just suck it up and be a man. God took my childhood away a long time ago. It's time I accept that and put away childish things. I can't believe he's doing this at another school. Just be quiet. I'm tired of you tormenting me. Picking on the new kid. I'm done with this. Let's end it. You wanna fight? Yeah. Tell me when and where. Let's make this a little sweeter. I live stream the whole thing. And when Dax wins, we get to rename you whatever we want to. What if I win? <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait. Did you say what if I win? You're kidding. <laughs> he's, he's serious. He's, he's serious. serious. Well, you aren't going to win, so name it. I get your YouTube channel. Done. After school. Behind the gym. Don't tell anybody, but there's gonna be a fight after school. Justin, you realize this broadcast goes to the whole school, right? Fair point. Tell everybody, there's gonna be a fight. <laughs> In one corner, we've got the all-American athlete, a Zeus-like specimen who is known for dominating any poor souls that get in his path, Dax Jordan. Let's go! And in the other corner, your very own homecoming cowboy, Nathan Walsh. Hey, Nathan. What? Why would you agree to do this? What choice do I have? You have literally any other choice. You might have choices, but I don't. Nathan, you do not have to do this. I completely agree. I've done it. It's over. I'm doing it. What can we do to help him? This isn't going to end well. Nathan is going to get smoked. What if he actually has a chance? It's not a matter of if he gets knocked out, it's when. Dax is going to dominate this guy. Guys, I got to go to the bathroom. This is definitely not good. What's up everyone? It's your boy Jack Stax and Dax, who is about to deface this dweeb. Oh, I get this. Nathan challenged Dax. How crazy is that? Oh, and don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and leave a comment for what name we should rename for when Dax defeats Nathan. And I'm so confident in my boy Dax that I decided and agreed to get and that if that somehow this cowboy wins to give over my account. Am I worried? Do I look worried? Let's get it on. Let's go, Dad, let's go. I'm going to knock your teeth in since day one. Whatever, let's just get this over. I'm going to stay down until it gets worse after this. Oh, 
got enough yet? You ready for your new name? Come on, Nathan, you got this! Knock him out, Dax! If this is enough, you have to stop. Oh, so you're good now. Well, if this is what you want... Get your hands off her. What are you going to do about it? I'll take my brother's place. You might want to get out of here while you still want peace. What, are you afraid of fighting a girl? That story ain't scared of nothing! Back from stream break, everybody. What'd you do, Justin? We went down to San Diego. That's cool. We just stayed home and relaxed. I must say, it was nice to step away from the drama for a bit. Oh yeah, speaking of drama, we got some updates for you. Your least favorite YouTuber has officially closed his account. As you may recall, Nathan Walsh told him to keep his account after the fight, but things didn't exactly go over well. It seems the decency has stepped up and held Jackson and Dax accountable for what they were doing. Speaking of Dax, he'll be eligible to return from his suspension from the basketball team this week. The damage may have already been done when our team plummeted to last place. Dax has also had many of his scholarship offers pulled after the video of the fight was widely shared across the internet. Let's go! But we do have some good news for you. Michelle and Nathan are going strong as Sunset View High's newest couple. That's all for today. Bye. Bye. How's your hot chocolate? Amazing. I can't believe things are starting to turn around for me. I'm still so, so sorry for everything I did to contribute to the problem. I don't believe it was you. I think you're just following the current. But I hate that I was. It's not who I want to be, and I'm so thankful that you helped me to recognize that. You know, you can talk to me about anything. I don't think I'm quite ready for that yet. I understand. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. My mom wanted me to invite you to go to church with us on Easter. You interested? Church really isn't for me. Why wouldn't it be? It's complicated. How is it complicated? Okay, we're doing this. Um, I, oh, I believe in a God. I really always have. So, what's the problem? I don't think I deserve what God gives me. Nathan, if you believe in God, do you believe what he says is true? I guess so. I don't know everything about the Bible, but I was taught in early age that we all sin and are in need of grace, and it is freely given to all of us that believe in Christ. Okay, I know we all have sin, but what if I have goes beyond sin? Do you know much about the crucifixion of Jesus? Not much. One of my favorite things about it is the thief that was sentenced to death right next to him. He asked Jesus, and Jesus answered, saying he'll be with him in heaven that very day. Okay, he stole something. That's different. Okay, do you know who Paul is? Does he go to our school? <laughs> no, Paul from the Bible. Uh, no. He wrote us the New Testament, but he was a murderer prior to becoming a Christian. He killed and persecuted Christians before Jesus appeared to him and changed his life. Nathan, no one is too far gone from Jesus. You're amazing on the inside and out. I don't. Will you do something for me? I try. Pray or journal, whatever you need to do. Just give Jesus a chance. Talk to him about whatever and listen. Just try. Maybe nothing happens, but maybe you'll feel something, hear something, recognize something that you've never recognized before. I'll try. I'm not making any promises, but I'll try. I don't really know where to start. God, this is strange because I've 
always believed that you were real, but I've never once tried to speak to you. What do I even say? Well, I've always felt guilty for what happened to my parents. It's been like a weight that I can't shake off. It's so heavy. And if I'm honest, I, I wish I didn't have to carry it. I want to give it to you. I want to let you carry it for me. God, I don't really know how to do this. I've never done this before, but I'm tired. I live, I've lived with all this guilt my whole entire life, and I'm tired. I've, I've done so much wrong to my family and to myself, and I don't deserve anything, but yet you offer. I just want to ask that you just help things get better and that I want to start living for you now and that I want to be in your presence and that I want to give my life to you. Top, then you're down the highs and the lows keep swirling walk these streets like you're beating rise up to mean the break that you need it's coming just hold on hold on yeah lift your eyes off the ground you only be in one place yeah but i see what you don't uh, will where you won't so don't dare let it go Zoo, try to feed an elephant a bunch of peanuts, and his buns got infected and stuck on his on his trunk. Now he's in the hospital for a week. Heard he went on a skiing trip. He flew off the cliff. He was lucky he landed on an inflatable gorilla. But Michelle, this is high school. It's eat or get eaten. You eat people. Oh shit. You're good. <laughs> Cannibalism. <laughs> Thanks. I'm actually done. I'll see you guys around. When y'all get over him, just jump over him. Can I kick him? No. All right, here we go. And camera, camera's rolling. No. Um, sure, why not? And action. And walk, McConnell. Let's take a look at this tragic case of the two dweebs. <clears throat> Dweebs! Dweebs! 
Let's go! Excuse me. You need to ask out a lady for the best. Can you stop looking at me like that? <laughs> Forsyth, will you make me the happiest co host of Sunset Daily News and go to homecoming with me? Yes! That's how it's done, Phyllis. <laughs> Hey, do you guys know if he... You're good, you're good. <laughs> Here we go. Reset. Action. I think so. She was trying to supposed to... She was trying to... I don't like it. She's the one who told us about the diary in the first place. <laughs> and you just say your line. Ready, and... First football game. Keep your head still. Does that make sense? No, don't, don't be like this. Get knocked. Oh my god. That's it for now, so have a great day. Bye. <laughs>